Many artists who are interested in quick sketching in landscape do so because they are traveling or working on the spot. So uh, they may choose to use a brush rather than a pencil. One reason why, and this is a very soft pencil that will cover ground fairly quickly, but a brush is faster. Of course you have to take drying time into consideration, but um, in some climates that's not a big problem. I tend to sketch in the desert and in dry areas a lot. Um, you can see the influence of Chinese watercolor paint painting in my work, partly because uh, one of the first classes I ever took at the Kansas City Art Institute was on Chinese brush painting, or sumi a or however you pronounce that. Anyway, I love to see what my brush will do. It's a kind of play, but um, try starting light and then pressing down and lifting. You can get a lot of different effects just by doing that. For instance, waves or leaves. It's a handy tool. Um, you can also use this for boulders. Oops, I have another hair in my brush. This is so unusual. How does this happen? Um, and allow the texture of your paper to show through. It would do more if this were a more highly textured paper, like a watercolor paper. And yes, I know you don't often see blue boulders, but I'm using dark colors so that you can see the effects more clearly. If you want to paint trees in watercolor, oh, by the way, this is a water brush, and those are very handy for um, quick sketching and for working in nature and on the spot because you don't have to carry a separate water container. You can see there's water right in the handle of the brush. Um, they're not as easy to clean quickly, so for, for serious painting I still prefer a regular brush, nice large one with a water container. But at any rate, if you are painting trees, they're wonderful and fast using this sort of technique. And you can suggest, whoops, trees get bigger at the bottom, not smaller. You can suggest some of the limbs and such connecting. This looks a lot like a eucalyptus, doesn't it? For pine trees, the brush can just kind of dance and make a conical shape. Or a simpler conical shape for more distant trees or more controlled ones. Um, for the more open ones, perhaps something more like this, and then connect with the tip of your brush. You can see how fast this is. Seriously. If you were wanting to do pine trees on a mountain like out west, um, a series of little dots can suggest that for you. And if you can, quickly blot your brush and make them paler and smaller in the distance. Gives the effect. I find myself painting palm trees a lot when I'm out west. And this is a good technique for this, too. Very quick, as you see. And you can even suggest the fronds if you like. Just don't get hung up in detail, because that will slow you down. If you want to paint distant mountains, perhaps tree-clad ones, um, a little dancing brush work using the side of your brush and a little bit of the tip can give you a quick impression of a tree clad mountain and if you want to suggest a lighter one in the background 
use less pigment in your brush and possibly even suggest mist here by lifting some of that. Uh, a more rugged mountain. Again, the side of your brush works well. And you can come back in and make some dots to suggest those trees. It isn't spelled out, it isn't very detailed, but it is fast and it certainly gives the impression. You can use similar marks like this to suggest water. And the broken light struck water in the distance. Um, a waterfall, perhaps. Very similar to the mountain, but skinny. Unless your waterfall is broad, in which case, let's keep going. And suggest some foam at the bottom. As you can see, I enjoy playing with my brushes. Make, seeing what marks they'll make. And letting the marks express a lot for me. So give it a try and have fun with it.